this is the Provoke Brawn, and this is the Edifier G5000. These are two interesting gaming speakers from Edifier that include a really interesting setup with RGB lighting, high res audio, so up to 24 bits, 192 kilohertz audio, 88 watts of output, three different sound modes, and a curious design that includes both wooden enclosures and aluminium side panels, 11 RGB lighting effects, you can see down the side, and a number of different inputs. Now in this video I'm going to be unboxing and setting these speakers up and talking to you about my experience with them, and at the end I'll do a sound test where we've also been listening to music and watching films and such and testing them out in a number of different ways. Now I want to talk about what I find interesting about these speakers but also I just want to note that they're pretty large as you can see here that's a 49 inch Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor that you can see them put up against and you'll see the speakers still look huge alongside them they are not small these are imposing and I think that was one of the things I was struck by almost immediately is just how imposing the speakers are they're quite sort of hefty and large and have a good quality to them and I think that maybe the RGB lighting takes away from that but I suppose that's a personal opinion I feel like maybe it degrades the quality some might look at the RGB lighting and think that it makes the speakers look less appealing one thing you will also note is it has Bluetooth 5.0 as another connection option as well as optical, coaxial, USB and auxiliary. So in the box as you'd expect you get the necessary power cables and a number of other things to connect up whatever devices you're using. Obviously I have been using PC for the most part I will show you the Bluetooth connection as well and the setup for PC is really straightforward because it's basically just USB connection into your device and then connect two speakers together and the power cable but in the box you also get the other cables that you might require for other connections so you can see this is the USB connection so it's USB on one end USB A on the other then you have a 3.5 mil connector if you need it the cable that goes between the two speakers that connects them up which is worth noting is very delicate so I'll talk about that in a second a optical cable so if you're connecting up on a device that requires optical connection obviously you have a good quality connection there and you have that cable so it's nice to see all the necessary connections included and then the classic British power plug so we're just going to get all those out of the way a minute while I talk about the speakers and show them outside the box now they are nicely wrapped up both in a plastic bag and then in a soft housing material just keep them clean and one of the things that you will notice is almost immediately as soon as they get them out of the box do end up making them a little bit dirty i think the top of the housing is actually a bit susceptible to oils and finger marks so it's worth bearing that in mind that they are a bit easy to get messy but as you can see immediately striking and large in the hand these are decent sized speakers so you will need some good desk space or room in order to put them in the right place for you one of the things that i also noted immediately was just how hefty they are they feel really heavy when i took them out of the box and i thought that was worth demonstrating this is actually a really good thing in my opinion because it means you feel like you're getting the quality you're paying for you can see that they're just under four kilos and that is pretty hefty and surprised me when I got them out because I was just surprised by the weight but again feels like a good quality piece just over eight pounds for my American friends and you can see that this it speaks to the quality immediately and I think that's one of the things because they are designed with what Edifier says is 11 wooden boards and various different cycling polishing so the cabinets are made to be high quality and to deliver really good sound but also a mix of wood and aluminium now on top of one of the speakers you'll find the various different controls you'll see the volumes dial and then the ability to switch between various different modes and also to change the sound at the rear of one of those speakers you'll also find all the different connections so you can see them here clearly uh, as i said optical coaxial 3.5 mil usb and then the connection to the other speaker the power switch and obviously the other controls now one of the things worth noting is i didn't find any software level so there's no software controls that I could find there's nothing to download which means all the controls and connections are directly from the speaker itself obviously if you have Bluetooth that does make give you some level of remote control in terms of volume adjustment and if you've got it plugged into your PC you can do the same 
but one of the things I've found is there's no way to remotely control them, so you do need them within reach when you want to use the controls. Now this is the cable to connect the two speakers together, and one of the things I've found, and it's worth noting, is it's really easy to accidentally bend the pins on those. So a little bit fiddly, and be really careful when you plug them in or unplug them because you can potentially damage that cable and that could lead to problems. This is the USB cable connection, again USB to USB-A and then power. So that is the basic setup. If you're connecting it up to PC, that is the easiest way to connect it up. Just plug in those three cables and then you're away. Obviously connecting the other end to your PC, set them up on your desk and then you can use them that way. You obviously also have the option to switch into Bluetooth mode, make the most of Bluetooth 5.0 and it does have Qualcomm technology as well so you do have the option of Qualcomm Aptix HD, Aptix X and SBC. I will note all the specs in the description so you can find out more about that. As you can see you can switch between the various different game modes and movie modes and there's a lady that announces the changes between them in a very curious and fun way and you can see that you also have an LED indicator to let you know which ones you're changing between. These controls are also multifunctional because you can also adjust the RGB lighting from them, but I'll show you that in a second. Now, you can obviously also switch into Bluetooth mode and then connect up to your phone or other device, and actually the pairing for that is really straightforward. And again, reminder that I will have audio samples at the end for both PC and Bluetooth, just so you can hear the quality of the sound and see the speakers in action. Mm -hmm. But I put it into Bluetooth mode when it was that straight out of the box and plugged in, just found the device with ease and obviously then you can just pair it up and then you can connect up and play music from there. You do also obviously have to switch between the various modes in order to do that though. You can't just have the dual connection and immediately play audio from your phone while also listening to PC. I also found that it was a bit of a faff switching when you turn the speakers off for example I had to switch between sources and windows in order to select both the speaker like go between the speakers or a headset for example if you wanted to do that so it doesn't there's no way to automatically get it to switch between those modes that I can find which is a bit of a hassle but if you know what you're doing with Windows sound settings it's not too much of a problem but I think it's worth just worth noting that as a potential downside However, the sound from these things is really delightful. I found them to have a nice good bass, a good solid sound, and as you saw, they really do pump out the sound as well. You can see the vibrations of the drivers there. There's a good audio range. Obviously, you are limited because these are stereo speakers, so you don't have the virtual surround sound in any way, and that is one downside potentially for gaming. But in terms of the audio that they pump out, they're nice and loud, good beefy sound, decent bass, and a nice response in a variety of ways. Now here you can see the changes in the RGB lighting. So you can double tap to switch between the various different modes, and you can also press and hold it, and that will just turn that RGB lighting off if you don't like it at all and you just want to get rid of it. I think that's worth keeping in mind that you can just turn it off entirely. One thing that is a shame is that RGB lighting isn't really designed to add to the immersion of your gameplay so it won't change colour for example with the game. There's no immersive lighting or anything there. It's just for show really which is a bit of a shame I think. Overall though a really nice pair of speakers, hefty price tag but really good quality, really good build quality, really good feel and loads of different modes and great sound. One of the problems that I have found though is I can't seem to get the high res audio working over USB and I don't have an optical device or at least I couldn't get an optical connection to do it there but I believe you can do it with Bluetooth if so if you have Tidal for example on your phone you can get high res audio that way but the sound even as default is really good stick with me now for a sound test and smash that subscribe button to come back for more in future